Good morning, Banana Maters. Two videos, not a roll. Not. So, as I said in my last video, which is made a little jump. Jump versus a bounce with this little heart dude. I'm going to use my little jump heart today to do some new stuff. I just wanted something a little bit simple I could do a few videos with to get myself up and rolling. Get back starting something. Starting stuff is hard. It is. Once you're doing something, it's hard to get back into stuff. But let's just do it. Let's. If you have a thing you need to do, just do a thing. Do a little bit. Find something simple you can do. Start the thing. So if you have videos that you want me to do, if you want to see something, you have questions, please leave them down below. That way I know what kind of videos to make, because most of the time I just don't know what to do. Anyway, today we're going to offset our keys and be really lazy. We're going to make something that looks like it was way more work than it was by taking one little animation, a boopy doopy doop, duplicating it, offsetting all the keys, and we're gonna make a little heart wave. It's gonna be really cute. Heart wave. So we need a bunch of hearts. I'm gonna copy this heart and paste special because if I just cut paste, you're gonna get a clone. Anything I do the first one is gonna happen to the next one. So we're not gonna be able to do independent things with them. Only create drawing files when they do not exist. This is, this is a really good one. If you don't want any drawing files, if you have a whole rig you like, but you don't want the drawings, you want to use that same template to create another character, very similar character, just don't create drawing files. Never create drawing files. It's going to be an empty template. You can save it out, and then you've got your template. Boop. And I'm going to offset this one. Now we have two. So these two guys are jumping together, which looks too samey. This is going to be a crowd shot of hearts. In fact, I'm going to copy both of these and duplicate them again. And then I'm going to take three more and... I'm going to duplicate them again. Now I have ta -da, seven. So when you plug things into your composite, I always work in the network view and I highly encourage everyone to do it too. If you're an animator, character animator, and you're scared of the node view, just start, just take a little time, do a little thing, do a little bit more and a little bit more. And soon the, the node view is not going to be a mystery to you. You're going to be super brave and be able to do all those things and teach the other baby animators how to do it too. Once you're not afraid, you get to do so much cool stuff. You don't even have to do it during your work time. When you're, when after work, just take 10 minutes to just pick one little thing in the node view, have a little look, see through the help menu, see what's going on there. And just 10 minutes at a time, you're gonna learn how everything works. All right, boop, 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 boop. Super cute. So what I'm gonna do is a heart. I want it to be a wave. So I want this one to jump first, then this one, then this one, then this one, okay? Very easy to do when you have the animation all done. And when you set things up left to right, you can see each one in a line left to right, and then top to bottom as well. You got them going along. And now I'm just gonna offset these keys. So there's two ways to do it. You can just drag it over and drag this one over four frames and drag this one over four and then four more. Or you can use your plus button, boop, 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 boop. So there it is, one, two, three, four more. But then you have to drag this guy over as well. Sometimes your plus button's gonna work better, sometimes it's not. Here I'm just gonna drag them over because it makes it easiest. So now, if I spread this out a little bit, we're gonna have bum 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 bum. How pretty, oops. Our little last dude, so lonely, come out here. There we go. Doop beep 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 boop. So pretty, nice little heart jump. So to cycle these, um, I've seen people copy from the end and paste back to the beginning, which it is harder. What we're going to do instead is we're going to come here to where the very first frame here is. We're going to go over here. Let's see. We can actually just see how many frames long our cycle is. So our say on the 23rd frame is the same as number one. So that means this many is how many we need. That's 11 key frames long. So let's just count them. 10, 11. So here we have 11. Shift and select the entire thing for all of the different hearts. We're going to hold the control key and drag back and then I said control and drag back. And now we've dragged those keys back to our place. Number 23 is where it cycles. So we're gonna stop at, stop at 23. Actually, we're gonna stop at 22 because number 23 is the same as number one. And now our hearts will cycle forever. How cute. And so much less time. Actually, a ton of time because I shagged it up twice and I had to redo it, but much less time overall. So now we've got our cycle. Next thing I want to do is make them rainbow. Yeah. How many different ways are there to change the colors? So many. First of all, change colors. You can come in here. You can change it to whatever color you want. So right now they're purple. We can change all of them. This is 
Harmony's palettes are a whole situation. So I made a video just on palettes because they have a lot of just personality. But the strongest aspect of it is that you can change the color of all the things that are colored with that color at the same time. So I want to start with a red heart for the beginning of my rainbow heart bounce. And then next I could do orange. I can just drag my slider over here, find a nice orange. And then number two heart can be orange, including the line art. This actually has line art. Okay, next one, red, orange, yellow. Let's just do something else. Let's go into our node library and use our color override. That's a color card. Let's use our color override. Now, people have mixed feelings about the color override because it does have some issues with, like sometimes it's laggy, sometimes it's contrary, but for our little heart, it's not going to be a problem. The biggest problem with it is having to find the palette that you actually use to color. So Harmony, like I said, the palette thing is a real situation, but down here at the bottom, it's hearts and it's the very last one. Super convenient for me right now. So the color override has tons of options, but we can just take this little dude. Our third heart is a red heart. So we're going to put the red over into this box. And then we have many different ways of changing this around. So I have a color override episode, I believe, where I go over exactly how all this works, but the simple stuff here, red, orange, yellow, we can just select here where it says new and the current color becomes a new RGBA, which is new. Then you can change new RGBA to all sorts of things. This is very good for compositing. You can also eyedropper tool, use your eyedropper tool to select colors from places like I want my heart to be orange instead, or I can select it from here if it's a color I've already used today. Frequent, like recently, it's going to hang around. What I really would like is an eyedropper tool for the palette list. So I could say, oh, I want to change this color. I can just eyedropper that thing, but it's not there. Mm -hmm. Red, orange, yellow, green. So next one, another one we could use. Let's just type in color. We're going to get all sorts of stuff. We have a color scale. Yes, that's the color scale and we can change green to a bajillion and red to nothing. Now the color scale in this particular, I have to change it to something else. It doesn't want to change the pure red at all, but we can, there we go. This one work, is working better. I, I hooked it up to a red one and it was just not having it. Let's try it on this one, heart number seven. Yeah, with this pure, like super red heart, it is just the hue slider is just not working. Why is that? But if I change it to purple, this one works really well. You can see that changing the hue slider will give me a lot of options here. I can change it closer to green and then bring it more towards green by turning down the other colors and muck about that way. So it takes a little bit of mucking about, but you could definitely use the color slider most of the time. Apparently it doesn't work on pure red, which is fascinating, but the color slider is another way you could change the color of this red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, which is kind of not a color at all. So we have a hue saturation node. We can slap that in there. Let's see. I would like you to colorize this and then I can use my hue saturation lightness, or I can come in here and try and figure out what indigo is. It's like halfway between blue and purple, blue and purple. I don't know here, green, indigo. No, this one should be halfway between green and blue. Duh. Colors are not my strength. So that's most of the ways. There might be another way in there to change the colors, but just changing your palette color is one way, just recoloring them. If you're gonna be using this for other things, like if you were, these were rigged characters, you would want to make a new palette in your color palette. You'd wanna come in here and just have all your hearts have their very own color because it's gonna be the lightest thing on your computer. But if you're just doing a little GIF for, um, a client or for your web page or just to put on Twitter just to be like happy pride then using a bunch of different stuff like this is going to be total, totally fine and lazy and I think the the easiest one is the hue saturation node because you can just colorize it and then say okay the next one in the list is blue make a nice blue and then the last one in the list color can be changed here too. So now we have our happy little rainbow jumpy jump, but in our OpenGL view, it's not, you can't see that. So that is a downside. You have, you, you can't see it here. Some of them you can. So the color scale does update in OpenGL view, the color override 
open works in the open shell view hue saturation does not so that's a good thing to keep in mind when you're using these different tools but the best way of course is to keep your palettes very clean which is difficult um, and then be able to just change the colors independently that will keep you the happiest in the long term if you're doing a series if you have something something that needs to be done a long time changing the palettes is absolutely the best way so let's render this out we have our little happy heart loops jumping up and down in very quickly this offsetting keys things works really well with pendulum swings arms things like that I did a video on arm swings, I believe, or pendulums somewhere back in the day. And this is the type of thing I did where I put all the extremes first and then I just offset them and then cycled them back because we don't want to do anything twice. We're very time, time poor in animation. We want to do things as quickly as possible. So there's no reason to make all these different hearts separately. Now that you have this done, it's very easy to go back and say, oh, I want each heart to have its own little personality. So you can take this little dude and make him super duper squished. There we go. Super. Make sure we're on a keyframe. Yikes. Boop, boop. And squish him down some more. And then have the jump start like this. So, oh, that's on all keyframes mode. Ah, oh, chaos. Squish them down like this. So we can now just change a few little things about the second heart, which is impossible to see on the gray background. And that one has a little bit more personality. This one here, we can have it hang up a little longer, turn on our onion skin. So the hang time will just increase it and then give them shorter, like a much more intense bounce like this. There we go. So just change a few keyframes there. So now our cycle, our uh, red heart is our generic heart. I'm going to change the orange to something a little bit more visible just for camera. So the second heart is a little bit, uh, spends a little more time on the ground. You can even make it jump a little bit lower in the sky. The yellow heart's got a little bit more energy. So you could just go through, tweak your keys a little bit, and you're not starting from scratch. It's going to be much, much faster, and you can give all of them their own personality. They're going to be cycling at the same pace. We have 71 scenes to do this week. You got to go fast. So hopefully that was helpful. So leave your questions down below for what you want me to make videos about because I just don't know, but I'm happy to make them again. I think I, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm starting again. This is going to be fun in these the pandemic days where I'm like I'm in the part of the country that's still under a pretty heavy lockdown. So we can't really do anything anyway. <laughs> so throwing a video in once a week is going to be good for my brain, I think. And hopefully yours too. Hopefully we learned a thing. So thanks for dropping by. Like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do, and I will see you in the next video, I hope. <laughs>